Well, hello, and welcome back once again to Jeff Finnegan's Wake, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Finnegan's Wake, a book by James Joyce, an Irishman, published originally in 1939, although this edition does embody all of the corrections that were applied after old Jim Joy had passed on. So, it is the definitive version, the version he wanted you to hear. And I think he wanted you to hear it be read by me, so you're in the right place. Stay tuned. I'm reading it one page at a time, one day at a time, here on the U tubes for all you beautiful internet people doing your thing. The literally... No one who's listening to this. I'm aware of my audience. So, we are on to page number 90 of this uh, this book. And I will be honest with you 100%. I, do, I still don't have... I still have no idea of, of anything in this book. There, I, I don't know any characters. I can't tell you any semblance of a plot. I There's no threads for me to hang on to. I think that Jim Joy intentionally made it as obtuse as possible um yeah so that's where i'm at i like to think i'm not that stupid but maybe i am but i mean this is this is definitely something i don't get but at some point i'll learn a bit about it but i like the mystery for now so here we go we're on to page number 90 of fagin's wag whence this second tone sun yet sun he had the kowtaw in his buxer's flay of face. So this, that, sole astress, setting odds evens at defiance, took the laud from Labertur. What displaced Tobe, Dilk, and Haley, not been greatly in love with the game, and, changing the vendors from the king's head to the republicans' arms, as the pugnacities evinced from flagfall to antipost during the Ephraim's round, Father Rhymes... I'm sorry, Father Time's backside and the regents in the plant zone reigning, with the skitty stars and the Morkin wind up, how they appealed to him then. That it was the wildfires, wildfires night on all the Betty Gallagher's. McMichael's swords shrieking shreks through the Wilkinses and Neckinicles, toasting forks pricking prongs up the tunny bladders. Let there be fight, and there was fought on the sight of the angels he said guineas gap he said between what they said and the pussy kitties in the middle of the garth then that they mustn't touch it the devoted couple was or were only two disappointed celestresses on the job of the unfortunate class of saturn's mountain fort that was about it ja and camalus said to gamalus i should know you parfaitly and gamalus then said to camalus yes your brother Absolutely. And if it was all about that, egregious sir, about that and the other, if he was not alluding to the hole in the wall, that he was when he was not alluding from the hole of the woman. Briefly, briefly, how begin all be finally struck him now, like the crack that brucked the bank in multi Farnharn, whether he fell in with what they meant? Cursed that he sepoxed he did. Thos Thoris, Thomar's thumb. The rudicist rotter in Robuckdom, Sir Topical, and Subhuman. If it was, in Yapanoi's language, Akbad Clap, ooh, ah, Ogs and Oars was Rian O'Keely, to put it tertianly, we wrong, shocking. Such as Turley pierced our reallys that he might, that he might never, that he might never that night, treely and rurally. Bladdy Yug Fowl Mocklenburg Wurrower Scorts Trump Pepper Nenny Knock Cap Sapista Tibiata Pep Tuppers Tripbuck Pinatooch. Eh? You have it all right. And I will say that was all one word. Medric and Oinquish, but a new complexion was put upon the matter, went to the perplexedly uncondemnatory bench, whereupon Punic judgeship strove with penal law. The senior, Annette, was page number 90 
of Finnegan's Wake here on Jeff Finnegan's Wake. Gripping, thrilling stuff. So uh, tune in tomorrow. Find out uh, exactly what happens next. But until then, I bid you adieu, mon frères, mon ami, bonne nuit.